Hello and welcome back to a Cookie Corner of YouTube and today I'm going to be showing you what I'm going to take in my travel case for this year. So this year there's been a little bit of a switcheroo, <laughs> a magical switcheroo. Um, these are my art supplies, <laughs> I have two. I um, separated them out into two separate areas because because I could basically so I will go through the first one there are a few things in here that were in last year's but I have had a little bit of a switcheroo Let's show you what I've got so we open up my first case and this side we have got um, a Caran d'Ache by colour in a red and a blue which I like to draw in these are also aquarellable which means you can add water to them which is something that is handy to know if you need to do that. Four pencils here. These are all the Derwent drawing pencils. So the Derwent drawing pencil in smoke blue. I think this one's called ink. Ink blue. Got the Chinese white because that's great for uh, drawing over things. It's really good. And the sepia or sepia. I don't know how you say it. I say sepia. Next, I have got two Unibor Signos, one in silver and one in gold. These are the glitter ones because I am a magpie and I like to add glitter. <laughs> I have got my Mono Zero in a, a nice big wedgie shape. It's still small enough, but still useful enough for me to use there. So that's coming with me. I have got two mechanical pencils. One of them is in 0.7mm. It's got some B leads in there at the minute and this is the Alvin Draftmatic. This is a 0.7mm one. Taking that with me. Also I've got this 0.5 uh, basic HB leads. It's the Pentel Arends and that's just a 5 lead in that one. Making sure I've got lead in it. I do. That's all good. At this side, I've got three Faber-Castell Art Grip Aquarellable. Um, I've got uh, like a, what, what colour that one is, doesn't actually say on it. But yeah, I've got two like um, skinnish kind of tone and one black. The black one, you can see I use more than anything. That's why I use more than any out of any of the sets I have. Black one always goes really well. Aquarellable, add water to them if I need to. On this side, this is pretty much the same as last year's setup. Let's say this side's changed, this side hasn't, because I have some other pencils in there, but I'll show you the reason why I've taken those out in a minute. So on this side, uh, I do like ballpoint pen sketching, and I have got my set of state there ballpoint pens in all the different colours. The only one I didn't have keep bashing this I'm sorry <laughs> the only one I didn't have was a yellow so I've got a Schneider slider in the yellow to use because I do like to have a yellow ballpoint pen and there you can't find them very often so I've got that one there um, on this side I've got my Signo um, my baby it is the the UM153 in white and it's the broad Signo white pen which goes everywhere in every kit I have um, so that's those things on that side moving into the center I've got a little pack of tissues um, that I use as wipeable so when I'm using watercolor etc these are handy to have in there I've got my clampy clampy is great for either putting paper to clamp or to clamp open a sketchbook and um, these are new this year I love these so much I've got three of them and this one uh, is coming away with me let me see if I can find the other two I think I mentioned them in a previous video but yeah I got three I'm taking the yellow one with me and close that up so yeah we've got the clampy Clampy coming because Clampy is handy. I have got an empty water brush because on planes you can't, well, you can take small amounts like this, but I'd rather not 
because it just adds to the amount of liquids that you've got on there. In the in the carry on, this is in your checked in case. I could have put it in there, but I want it with me. This is uh, the newest little idea with my gouache in it. It's got some white gouache in one side and it has got some gold gouache in the other side. What I'm going to do with this is I'm going to put this one maybe in my checked in case because it's kind of indistinguishable. And I think with art supplies, you have to have something that's really kind of easy to to read and this one not so much so this is going to go in my checked in luggage hopefully i don't mix it with my contact lens case but yeah that's coming out but it will be going with me and it will be in my set this is just for being on plane wise um likewise with this white gouache that's also going to come out I've got extra white gouache in there from last time, so I might as well keep that in there because it fits. I have got some empty washi tape. I love this empty tape. I've got it in many colours, and I'm just wondering whether to switch this out for a different one. Because I've got some new ones. I might go with... I might go with a blue, maybe. But as this one's open, I ought to use it, really. No, we'll stick with it. <laughs> Changed my mind twice in the space of a minute, as usual. I've got an empty mini mister for misting up my palette with. There's a range of ones. You can get different ones. This one's just a really, really handy size. I'm going to take that with me. Um, done that one. I have got my Derwent pencil sharpener. Um, I have got a few pencils in here, and they are... We've got a big and a small size, so that's great for the Derwent ones because they don't fit in the small size sharpener. I have a smudgy stick or a, what do they call them? A tor torchulon or <laughs> torchulon, as my daughter used to call it. Torchulon. Uh, I've got a soft eraser. Yes, I quite like having that. That's a Derwent one, it's really nice. I swapped it out for a small uh, Pentel one that I had in here, but that's gone into a different kit. For liners I have three Spectrum art liners in a 05, a 03 and a 08 so they are coming also. New in this kit I have got the four levels <laughs> <laughs> of the Kohenor Analinky watercolours. I love these so much. I really wanted to take my eight set, but it was just too bulky. So I had to compromise and take the four set. And it's got plenty of colours on there. I'll show you the colours in a minute. I'll give myself a little swatchy swatcher of these. Get into this side. So those are the colours that are coming in that set. That's a white, and those are kind of like, that's a pearly white. I don't know if you can see that, if it's showing up on camera, like a silvery, and that's a really, really light grey. So those are coming. I've got a ruler, just a simple plastic ruler. I did have a nice metal one in here, but it's just so heavy, and I'm just thinking weight-wise, I might as well just take a plastic one, and I don't want to lose it, and if I do lose it, I won't worry too much about this, so it's all good. This trusty, trusty little kit is coming with me again. I I can't fault it. I can't fault the colour choices in it either. And there's nothing I want to swap in and out. Um, it's mainly Schmincke because it was a Schmincke set that I got um, a few years ago now. But I have got some additional ones in. So... Um, Schmincke, those are Schmincke, Schmincke. I've got a Daniel Smith Opera, Opera Pink. I've got a Holbein Horizon Blue because I love that so much. Um, do, 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 which are the other different ones? Those are Schmincke, 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 Schmincke. A Daniel Smith Lapis Sunlight. I don't know if you can see on there, but I just love that over the top of stuff. That's that one there. And a Daniel Smith Neutral Tint. I am so happy with this. In the middle of there, I've got a little bit of gold gouache as well. <laughs> Just by the way of having a little bit of gold in there. On the side, I have got this Van Gogh, Van Gogh, however you pronounce it, little brush that I always take with me everywhere. It's handy and dandy and it fits inside there. Uh, 
hold on. I think this came in a scholar box at one point in time, many years ago. Let's get that all together again. This is my only problem, is fitting them back in without damaging the brush. We're good to go. Okay. That usually goes in the middle of there. But I swapped it down the side of there just because of that gold wash. So that is coming with me. Also in this little bag, I have my Viviva colour sheets. These are just so handy to take everywhere. So they and they take up hardly any room at all. So they are coming as well. And ooh, I have some sea white postcards, the watercolour ones. I can cut these down. I can use them as is. I've made this up of a few different pads that I had that were empty and I thought I'd just combine them together into that, which is handy. I have got in here two pieces of acetate, which I tend to use as a uh, palette, <laughs> on the go palette. So I've got two pieces of acetate. I don't know if you can see those, I'll flash them around a bit, so you can see them a bit more. And I've got my plastic protractor, which has on its time uh, also been a palette. <laughs> so I've got plenty of surfaces. <clears throat> Losing my voice. I've got plenty of surfaces to work on. So these all go in here. Keep them safe. Oh, I better put that one in as well. And that is the extent of my basic travel kit. Putting it that way around this time so I can fit more stuff in. Get in. It's in there. It goes down there. It goes down the side of there. All goes in nicely. Binding clip. Torchalon. <laughs> I always like calling it a torchalon. That fits in perfectly. There we go. So that's that kit. And because I have a little extra space, and because I really wanted to do this as part of my 100-day project, my 100-day project is basically um, collage. So it's fabric and paper collage, maybe with some stitch. Um, so as you can see, I've got nothing in this flappy bit but I could have if I wanted to. The reason is I've got this Caran d'Ache set of pencils, which I think I showed you previously. These are the ones with the double end. There's also a brush in there because these are aquarellable. And you get 24 colours in there and it travels real well because it's got this to hold it in place and uh, no rattlage, it doesn't move around. So that's why that's staying in there. Handy Pritt stick, that's coming because I need glue if I'm going to do some collage work. These beauties, which are my snippy scissors, these are the Midori ones, I think. Yeah. And handy. These I do believe I can take on a plane because I've got rounded edges and the blades are no longer than six inches. So this is all good. And that is my Moomin scissors. I'm kind of tempted not to take these, only for the reason that I don't want to lose them. Because they're precious. So maybe I'll just have to make do with these. Yep, decision made. Moomin scissors stay. I don't want to lose them, so they're staying there. So I'm just taking the little snippy ones here. I have got uh, the Crafters Companion, like, um, double-sided tape glue which will also do along with that one so I've got two different ways of sticking things down I'll come to that in a minute this in here is the perfect size for my base for my 100 day project <laughs> I say that I can get them out look a little bits of cardi paper uh, they did come in a set and I think is it this one that's got them in no it's going to be the other one isn't it <laughs> this is where all my little mint tins come in. 
this has got the first nine little collage pieces that I've done in there but I'm not taking those with me because they're just going to take up room so I've got a little tin with blanks in that fits in there perfectly and that goes inside and I've got a very very small sketchbook in case I want to do some collage in a sketchbook and this leaves this this is a hairband <laughs> but this is my little teflon sheet perfect for sticking and painting on and um, handy for both kits and it fits in there quite nicely and I'm not going to worry too much if I get to lose it on anything but I can balance this on a book of some kind and I'm not going to damage anything she says hopefully <laughs> so let's fit all this back in because it fits in perfectly well and I've got space in this one as well I'm also taking some um collage scraps in a little bag so they're all coming with me in here as well but they're elsewhere at the minute so they will be fitting in here so that's it all fitted back inside and as I say if I buy any more art supplies I've got a little bit of room <laughs> oh thinking ahead thinking ahead okay so let's pack that back up so that's those two which are coming with me as I say along with some collage scraps and yeah, that's my 2023 travel setup for the year. Um, if I do put any different changes in there, I will let you know and obviously update you because I know you like to know what I've got in my kits. Um, anyway, if you've liked this content, there are more on travel kits further back down the line in my videos, so go and check them out. I'll try and put a playlist up if I can in the description below or maybe in one of the cards above. And yeah if you like it don't forget to give me your thumbs show me those thumbs uh, do a little like of my video it really really helps as does if you like a lot of my content then please consider subscribing it makes a big difference to this small channel which is still growing i'm still so thankful for the thousand over subscribers that i've now got have a great week. I will see you very soon with more of the same. Bye for now.